fine. Right. But yeah, welcome everybody. Welcome, welcome, welcome. This is the Crown and Sword of Cain ponage. It's very difficult to do. Very difficult to do this. So I was off stream cooking up a storm. You know me. Making sure that I can get this to be possible. So we're going to continue on with the previous Carl Franz campaign we did yesterday. And we're going to be demonstrating all of the wonderful things in which is upon this. It is obviously very difficult to achieve and it is very insane. But I'm excited to show you it nonetheless. As obviously we had to do this off stream to make it possible. So just to give you context. Hey Richard, Buscani, good to see you. Slayer, good to see you. Michael, good to see you. Uh, Dizzy, good to see you. Niski, thanks for the resub. Lovely to see all of you guys. So... We have the Jade Wizard, obviously. So this is the stat line that we're working with Franz right now. This is Franz's stat line. The Crown of uh, Nemesis is not actually a item. It's literally just a buff that you have onto your army. So right now we've got Perfect Vigor. 25% damage for everything. Corruption of the Crown, which is an AoE of 40 to 80 damage. We have 30% movement after winning a battle. We're capped at 3 uh, wins, so we need to make sure that we're winning battles continuously. No, the, the crown does not take up a slot. That's one of the things that is insane about it. It does not take up a slot. I think one of the biggest issues I'm going to have is the fact that the casualty replenishment rate uh, is minus 30, but the good news there is that it won't matter. As fundamentally, we're going to be killing things probably with just friends, just to show it off. Uh, so what we'll do is uh, start off Oh, Bellicor's on his way over. Um, we've sort of... We, we probably should create uh, an army within the Empire. Uh, I'm basically in the process of making a pretty insane army, uh, as you can see. Uh, we've basically held off as much as we possibly could do. Uh, we do have Dreicha that's sort of lurching around the area. Uh, so hopefully we'll be able to deal with her in time. But uh, what do you guys think? Where should we take friends? Should we destroy the entirety of the donut? Should we destroy the donut, boys? Or should we go destroy... Um, now, I think it'd be way harder to do it uh, to do the Norskins, so I think what I'm going to do is take control of all, the entirety of the Norskins, uh, the donut. Uh, yeah, let's just take over the donut. Ah, there's like nobody there. Imagine this is on Imric. Yeah, that would actually be kind of nuts. You think the crown's a bit weak, really? Have you seen what the crown does? The crown gives perfect vigor. Weapon strength, 25% across the board. A AoE of 55 meters, 40 to 80 mortis engine. 30% additional HP. A 30% campaign movement range after winning battles. He has 10.9k hit points. Uh, so, you, you know what I mean? He's got a lot of health. So he's going to heal, what is that, like... 7,000 or so HP? Um, yeah, unfortunately, I don't think my... Units will ever heal inside of places like this because I don't have 45%. Ooh, I've got short victory. Nice. It's not worth because of the negatives, in my opinion. Yeah, I mean, minus 100 relations or faction wide is fine because I'm just going to murder everybody, you know? I'm just going to murder everybody. Oh, hold on. I need to do something. Um, this one. Uh, let me just take this off real quick. I was doing, I was testing it for off stream. Right. What we can see is uh, a lot of people are going to hate us, but now we're capped at three turns. So we have 110 minus diplomacy. So across the board, we're probably hated by pretty much everybody, uh, which is going to be interesting to see how that's going to how, how that's going to transpire. I definitely think it's going to be a pretty difficult thing to sustain and handle. Uh, but we jumped straight into the deep end with this campaign. Just to show you guys kind of the effects of the late game crown and sword of cane because i wanted to show you guys kind of what happens you know what is the situation that occurs when this is the this is the case uh because for me it's pretty interesting you know we're gonna get a lot more replenishment rate but like i said cal franz will be pretty much the dude that's going to be able to slap pretty much everything by himself obviously we've got a lot of other units alongside of us uh but we'll have to wait and see how that goes but, like I said, I'm very excited to see, uh, as this is going to be pretty interesting in the grand scheme of things. Uh, let's go ahead. It's, this is one of the annoying things, right? When you get to the point where you've got, like, redundant uh, skill points, you've got to level stuff up in. Um, this, this guy's just my recruiting lord. 
So let's have a look around here, folks. Let's have a look around here. Uh, most likely, I'm going to take on the Phoenix Gate. It's a shame that the terrain is so garbage for friends, but it is what it is. But the only po the only thing is, he's obviously going to have more of them. For the Silver Seal, we have the Silver Seal now. We've done the Silver Seal. So, Cal uh, Friends is rocking 40% ward save at the moment. Uh, which is really nice. Showcase the dwarves anymore. Andreas, most likely later on today I will. I most likely might do some more dwarves today. It depends on how much you guys are enjoying this. It honestly purely depends on the thumbs up you guys give me in relation to your enjoyment of this campaign. Uh, and then obviously I'll play the dwarves otherwise. We could go see the rebirth as a talisman, but it's obviously not worth it. What kind of enchanted items are we working with here? Could be worth using that, see what we can make. Crown of Command is an interesting one, but it's not going to be too useful. How about we merge both of these? What kind of enchanted items would I be looking for? Um, you want it on Sword of Cain, on uh, Torox, or Malice? Yeah, it definitely be way harder to achieve that. Way harder to achieve. Because you got to remember, when it comes to getting the crown over to the donut, you have to kill pretty much everything along your way. Uh, ooh, Potion of Healing is not a terrible idea, yeah. Potion of Healing is not a terrible idea. So we're going to have to deal with, obviously, all the repercussions of everything else. But look at this General of the Empire. Look at the stat line of this General. How insane is this, by the way? How insane is this stat line? You can't tell me that's not nutty for an Empire General. This is free LC. You can basically get... Before, obviously, Franz got all the insane items, you can basically make anybody just as powerful as Franz. Let's go ahead and have a little look, Ski. Obviously, we're going to have to wait and see. What we're feeding those generals? Protein. A lot of protein. Right, we need to look what's happening over the side. I'm probably going to have to move Felix up to this army. I need a Jade Wizard as well in the army. Uh, and we should be okay. Because we need someone to heal the uh, steam tanks. Right. So, yeah, let's have a look around the other areas. You're going to hold the line against the Norskins. Uh, we do have loads of this stuff we can use. We can just confederate. It might be worthwhile just confederating. Oh, we could just confederate Null, but I'm not allowed to, I don't think. Because of all the, f all the DLC units. Such a shame. Such a shame. I'll confederate Marenberg then. Might as well. Might as well get Marenberg and just sit him in here. And then these guys can help defend against uh, anything else that's coming on our way. Uh, which will be helpful. I really want visibility of Marcus Wolfhart. Because I'm using a mod right now that gives me visibility of him. But I am curious to see if this works. Yeah, I actually can. As soon as you get visibility of him, you can confederate him. With this. Yeah, you actually, with the, new, with the new Unify for Carl Franz, you generally can confederate him as soon as you as soon as you see him. Lore about female dwarves. Interesting. Um, female dwarves in general, obviously there's, there's differences between Warhammer Fantasy and, and Lord of the Rings, but a lot of female dwarves are unbelievably giga-chatted, right? Take example, uh, Beligar's wife. Beligar's wife killed, I think it was a hundred storm women by herself. Like, truly, she is a Chad. And it's very akin in most factions that, like, for example, within the, the Empire, you don't really necessarily see a lot of w uh, women soldiers. Um, you, you know, various reasons. Uh, but within the Dwarves, they are more than happy to have, you know, females fighting if they need to. So you can get a foothold in both or two, you can't. And Slayer, thanks for the follow, buddy. Thank you for the follow. Hey, Slayer. Alright, uh, let's have a look. Imagine Archeon with Sword of Cain and that crown, plus item which heals us. That, that's chaos. Yeah, I think what you got to remember, guys, is the Nemesis crown is actually hard to get. What's my victory conditions? Right now, we've done the short victory condition. Uh, we're in the process of doing the long victory condition. I just want to find good battles. Basically, all I want is to find really good battles. Like, if I can put myself in really good battle situations, I'd be happy. Because right now, I think friends can kill pretty much anything. Like, generally, I believe friends has the capabilities of murdering anything. Hey, Linux. Oh, Linux, you want to type in the YouTube chat, by the way? If you type in the YouTube chat, I'll give you a mod on there as well. Nice. 
Is it possible to conquer the entire map? Absolutely. You here? There you go. Thank you, Linux. Uh, yeah, this is absolutely possible. I honestly am intrigued to see how many units I can take on at once. I go war with Alarial. Yeah, do you guys think we should kill Alarial? Should I murder Alarial? Wait, what's happening here? Ooh, the Warhead of the Shadow Grey. That's not an, an ideal. That is not ideal. Hopefully, um, that boy will handle that if possible. But there's not many factions left, honestly. There is not a lot of factions left, but you can see already, look, two turns remaining. Because it's hard to keep the crown. So I think I'm going to have to attack uh, Alarial here. Oh, we might have a really good fight on our hands. Oh, I need to make sure that we've also made sure that this is maximized as well. So the AI has the maximum stats they can. <laughs> right, guys, do me a favor. Help me out. Type one in the chat if we should go murder Alarial. Type one in the chat if we should go murderer. Should we go murderer? Or should we try and be more chaotic good? Do we murder Alarial? What are you thinking, boys? Do we murder her? Send it to the dirt. Murder Alarial? No allies today? Cal Franz has well and truly been corrupted this day. By Sigma, protect us all. Alright. Wow. If we attack her, then we're going to have to fight against so many people. Alright, what we can do is we'll do the cheese. This, this cheese has existed since the beginning of time. This has existed since the beginning of time. If I go through Bellicor and, then, and declare war on Alarial, I can bypass the, the uh, alliances. This is nothing but an Elgi scheme! Oh, there's three dragons in there. Dude, that's going to be epic. There's three dragons. There's three dragons in there. There's three dragons in this army. This is going to be a really good fight. This is well and truly going to go, going to showcase Cal Franz with his new toys. His damage is insane. Um, His health is insane. His damage is insane. We will do a lot of damage to these dragons. Four, actually. Oh, is there another one? Is there, is there, oh yeah, obviously, yeah, Star Dragon, didn't see that one. Yeah, Star Dragon, you're right. Yeah, the Star Dragon is in there, you're not wrong, boys. This is nothing but an elegant scheme. Right, so what we're going to do, we're going to set up as best as we can here, and be really smart about our, our unit deployment. So what we're going to go ahead and do is turn these guys away, because they are not needed at all. So guys, you're in timeout zone. You're in the timeout zone, we don't need you. All we need is our beautiful Carl Franz. The rest of you, get in the corner. You're in not. You're in the naughty step. Right, Carl Franz. Good luck, my friend. Good luck, Carl Franz. We love you, friends. For the Empire, for Sigma, for the Helden Hammer. Right, Franzi. Four dragons on the menu today, boys. Four dragonies on the menu. Uh, let me first kill these archers. I think. Okay, we've been surrounded by the dragons. I'm not trapped in here with you. You're trapped in here with me. Come on, Franzi, the Giga Chat of the Empire. Bosh! Bosh, 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 bosh. Absolutely. Smoking these nerds. Yep, one dragon down. Oh my god! Let's just sort of cane it, might kill it. The Sword of Cain might finish the dragon off. Nah, it's shattered. Maybe not. Prince and Emperor. This is Karl Franz. I am the son of Sigma and the Hellhammer. You will perish beneath my feet. <laughs> yes. Yes. Right, all we need to do now is come over with... Um, we just need to move over the uh, the life mage and give him uh, some spells. Boosh! Look at that damage, man. Look at that damage. Boosh! Boosh, boosh, boosh. Holy moly! Alright, let's give him a regrowth. Keep him alive. Should we get these guys out of... Uh, should we take the units out of the naughty step? We could take the new units out of the naughty step. Kill the next dragon. Oh, we have perfect vigor as well, so we don't need to worry about him being, um... Yeah, we really don't need to worry about him being, um... Yeah, about him being fatigued.
Uh, we can see his healing power is full. Nice. Lovely jubbly. Do you still have a uh, time turn to find a battle? Yes, Shadow Serpent, you've got three turns. You have three turns, otherwise it disappears. You have three turns, otherwise it disappears. So we've got 16,000 value, not bad. Not bad. Yeah, it's not bad effort, and the battle's hardly started. It's been, what, three and a half minutes, and he's got already got 16,000 gold value? It's because of the fact that the AoE... Look at this. 40 to 80 damage in AoE. Look, look. Look at the damage. Look at look at how ridiculous this damage is. 40 to 80 in a Mortis engine is not fair. Holy moly. Look, I can charge into these archers over here. Oh, look. These guys, just by proxy, because they're close enough, look at their health. Just deleting. Bit by bit, it's getting deleted. I can also just use the uh, the crown if I want to. It's 16 to 32? Yes, it is, yeah. Normal mortis engines are not that strong. Let me go turn around these guys, actually. Let's take them out of the naughty step. Uh, let's go ahead and sort of cane these guys. My rule is absolute. Dear God. Oh, so what do we think, guys? Is it balanced or nah? Do we think it's balanced or nah? <laughs> Can it be found outside the Empire? No, it has to be in the Empire. Just hand me the crown, yeah. Does the crown damage your allies or only enemies? Only enemies. The Mortis engine specifically. The, um... The activatable will hit your own allies. Must be great to be Emperor. Indeed. Looks good to me, yeah. It's pretty damn good. The Empire has some OP stuff. The funny thing is, it's not specific to the Empire. Anyone can get the crown. I believe anybody can get the crown. It doesn't have any ward save? No, it has no ward save. Because it gives you a lot of health. But you got to remember, the crown is not... It, it, the crown doesn't have any items. Like, it's not an item slot. Like, th there is no item slot. It's just... It's a part of your army. Look. It's an army buff. It's just an army buff. It's not a... Uh, it's not a thing... Yeah, it's right now. Everyone, everyone does hate us. So where'd you put it? I mean, I'd, let's not ask where friend is putting this crown. I'll tell you that for free because I can't see it on his head. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Currently, it's invisible, so I don't want to ask questions. You know, Jambo. Sometimes it's best not to ask questions you don't want the answer of. You know, I've got no idea where he's putting it, and I'd like to keep it that way. Ready. Uh, isn't there an auto assign button? Can't you auto assign skills? Isn't there a way you can auto-assign skill points? Am I, am I being dumb? I swear there used to be... Yeah, there it is. There it is. I mean, there's literally nothing that I need to do with these guys now. So I, I don't need to be bothered by them. Thank you guys, top left. Um, it'll be interesting to fight Bellicor. Yeah, this is, this is honestly insane. So, how much ward save can I get? Right now we have 50% ward save. Would, a post would an enchanted item give us more? Would an enchanted item give more? Is there any enchanted items that give ward save? I don't think so, right? I don't believe so. Ooh, that's unfortunate. We'll have to defend that. Not for the Empire, yeah. Is unique to Imric? Yeah, I thought so. Um. God, the the level of stuff you can get for the Empire is kind of kind of sick, nasty. Let's get everything upgraded. Talisman preservation. That's a uh, talisman. It's not an enchanted item. Is it time? Yes. 
By the shit of a hammer, yes. What's our supply lines? Actually not too bad. Can I force march over to this place? I can. Let's try and get there as soon as we can. Um, yeah, we have the silver seal on them at the moment. So we're creating an army that's going to be ready to kill all of the wood elves. This is my wood elf killing army. Do you guys like it? Oh, wow, nice. I've got two uh, capacity for those. Oh my god, this is such a good army to kill wood elves. Because we have the bi-directional shielded. 70% block chance. And it's bi-directional. And it's 100% from the front. God damn. Yes, my lord. What does Do I have anyone that can take control of this guy? Is there anyone that is there anyone that we think would be better? To the provinces? I should probably respect this fella. Do I have anybody else that I can use to take control? Ludwig? Probably not. I mean we can get level sixes. Yo, Laz, uh Laz Biggums, welcome. So we want level uh, level six. Uh probably start off by somebody new. We'll try an Arc Lector. It seems seems appropriate to have an Arc Lector to do this. So what we want to make sure to do is we've got... Probably Imperial Gunnery, right? No, it doesn't do Steam Tanks. 15% ward save for the Steam Tank seems quite nice. We'll do that. And we need Imperial Gunnery. We're going to need Imperial Gunnery on top of that as well. This guy's going to be responsible for taking charge of this army and leading it to some glorious victories. But on the other hand, Frenzy is responsible for murdering everybody over on the, the donut. Uh, is there anything we can do with this army here? Now, thankfully, Leon is actually holding the line in, in Bretonia, which is good. My only worry is that, obviously, we're not going to get a, a lot of replenishment here. Much faster? Yeah. Ah, damn it. Scrag's now taking these settlements over there. Uh, we're getting kind of... Since everybody hates me because of the... Um, uh, the what we call it? The crown. I am hated by everybody. I don't think there's anybody in this map that likes me at all. Uh, can you show the witch tree? Of yeah, course can, matey. Of course can. Yeah, pretty much. You don't hate me? Thank you, Red Rage. Name a troop, Bertie. What, what troop specifically? And Shadow Serpent, you don't have to apologize, lads. And Tokyo, thanks for the follow, buddy. Appreciate you, bud. Legends about to have some hilarious campaigns with this nonsense. Amazing. Yeah. I mean, what I could probably do is set up a campaign for him to have. I'll, I'll, I'll drop him a message tonight if he's interested. As I've got quite a lot of really good scenarios uh, for campaigns at the moment. Let's get that uh, upgraded when we can. Uh, Middenheim, let's get some growth in there. It's gonna take a wee while. Actually, no, in fairness, we've got... We, since this campaign... Since we're, like, we're, we're sitting idle for so long, and we've got this, where is it? Open the gates. Grant two population surpluses to the target region. It's so insane. So, like, in this situation, we've just done that. Wait, hold on. We've just over here. Let's upgrade this one as well. And then what we can do is just simply open the gates. Boom. And you guessed it, it's back to five. It's so insane, man. Right. Oh, Bellicor's over here. Ooh, Bellicor might make a good fight. I Who can I speak to? Night. Let's speak to Tyrion, then. We'll speak to Tyrion. Go through Tyrion, because he'll probably give us some, some chunk, uh, a good chunk of change. He'll probably give us a good chunk of change. Yeah, he's quite strong. We'll fight Bellicor. Yeah, four grand. We'll take it. Right, Mr. Bellicor. Hello. Um, excuse me, Bellicor. Stop being a coward. Yeah. <laughs> I have a feeling that most of these fights are going to be, um, you know, not very favorable for the AI. What a coward, true. I mean, this may make some of you sad, but Grimgore is a bit of a coward as well. <laughs> Grimgore is a bit of a coward as well. And yes, I've, I've recorded all the old ones. I'm doing all the new ones today. 
basically my plan for it is to have the old ones on the left side of the video and the new ones on the right side of the video. That was the plan that I had. Alright. Grimgar, my beloved. I mean, in fairness, he did run away from, like, some really giga -chad demon. In fairness. But in law, he did run away. It's a misconception, I believe. I'm gonna probably put this dude on a mount. Alright, let's let Franz do his thing. That's a fun part of Warhammer. I, I do agree, actually. I do so let me show... Let's show Bellicor Belly what's up. Let's see who wins here. <laughs> Oosh! Yo, Mon Chief. Seems like we're winning. Yeah, 1.6k weapon strength. 1.2k of that is armor piercing. To think that Bellicor is a pretty damn good duelist. He just simply isn't good enough. Let's rampage them and then Nemesis crown on top of that. Just the fact that I get so much more additional HP, it helps so much. And look, these guys are just dying because they're near the crown of corruption. The sad thing is you've got to be really, really careful not to have something to fight. And the donut's kind of perfect for the crown. Honestly, the donut is really, really perfect. As um, you pretty much can almost guarantee you'll fight every turn or, or every other turn. And we're working on a three turn window. These buggers ran away. You're perfect? No, you are. Alright. So yeah, obviously it was one of those scenarios where Friend is obviously struggling now to hit. Uh, because he's lost his charge bonus. His belly call stat line is pretty damn good. But, alas. The prince has died. The shadow prince has fallen. Let's come kill another dude. Um, yeah, I am very, very impressed. I th Honestly, who do you guys think would use the crown plus Sword of Cain combo the best? Who do you guys think? I think, honestly, probably Malice. Oh my god, this poor hero. Torx and Scar- Ooh, Scabra might be interesting. Toddbringer? It's me, Toddy! If only. Torox? I feel like Malice would beat Torox, though. Kugath? Unironically, it'd actually be really good on Kugath, because he'd have so much HP. But yeah, the, the advantage with Vlad is he's so small. Torox is a bit too big, but the only advantage Torox has is the fact that he's very... Um, difficult to pin down, because his cycle charges are... You know, he rolls around the place. I'm sad that they nerfed the Dwellers, man. Because it only has one damage. It only applies one damage. Oh, it doesn't seem as bad as it used to be. Maybe they've buffed it. Wait, one damage per second? Interesting. I wonder if they've buffed it or nerfed it. I'm actually not sure. Nice, at least we can cast things really, really easily. Oh, oops. What? Oh my god, they're shooting themselves. Oh my god. The Hellstorm rocket batteries have been killing our own units this entire time, and I haven't been paying attention. I tell you, honestly, the, the sometimes the Hellstorm rocket batteries are your greatest friend. Sometimes they are your greatest enemy. I'll tell you that for free. Yo, Opium. It still does something. It's a bomber now. He tends a little explosion. Ooh, so it does AoE. I was going to say, because it feels stronger. Like, beforehand, there was no way it would one-shot inventory, but now it seems to be doing so. Stop shooting stuff. But the healing has been nerfed. The healing definitely has been nerfed. I, I don't feel like it's as strong as it was. So in Cal Franz is just so insane. Anybody with this combination is bonkers. <clears throat> what I'm what I'm really tempted to do, guys, is make a video of some what whatever legendary lord you want to see, 
plus the crown and sort of cane. And then we could decide what Doomstack I'll fight. Because I can, I can set up a situation where I'm fighting against four armies of whatever you guys want to see. I have uh, the capabilities within the mod to do that. Like if it's like, oh, I want to see Malus take on four armies of dragons. I could do that. I want to see Malus take on four armies of dragons with Imbric in each one of them. I could almost do that. How's it going to if you lose it? It's, it's real. I think you've got to go and search and find it again. So it's pretty awkward. It seems really, really awkward to get back. Is all 49 in your front line still max level? Yep. Oh, versus chuff blunderbusses. I think you'd lose. Blunderbusses are too powerful to run into. Especially if he's mounted. He'll just get one shot. I mean, uh, in, in fairness, uh, as soon as you get into inventory, they'll struggle to shoot him. Leon with his natural regen. That's a very very good point, actually. With the, uh, the lady's blessing. With the lady's blessing, I can see that. Nice. And we actually healed my army from that, which is good. Is there any terrain on here that actually is good for me? Um, wow, do you see that? Did you see that? Because of the crown, I got tons of movement left. It gave me 30% movement. So now I can go straight to this settlement. Oh my goodness. Wow, that is crazy. It gives you so much movement speed. So I've gone st I can go straight to another uh, settlement attack. Oh. Come on then. Wait, does that mean if I do it properly, I technically might be able to kill the empire and uh, kill the donut in one turn? For the empire, for sigma, for glory. Agreed. How would you get the crown? Um, I can say, you basically need to search for it in the Empire. You basically need to search for where it exists within the Empire. Once you've found where it is, you can then um, do a quest battle. Uh, and then once you've done a quest battle, you can uh, just get access to it. But you need to make sure you continue to keep fighting. you got to keep fighting, otherwise it doesn't work. 3D portrait lighting. They did, yeah. The lightning has been improved. The lighting has improved a lot. Um, Archeon, the relationship with Chaos he gets offsets the public order, uh, the uh, inflation penalties. Yeah, probably. It just it just depends on who you want to be friends with, right? Because the crown allows Cal Franz to still be friendly with the with the Empire, right? Can the AI find it first? No, I don't believe so. It's not like the Sword of Cain. I don't believe they can get access to it. I'm just going to tank all those arrows because I have so much ward save. I have 25% uh, missile resistance, ward save. So I have 80% ward save against um, archers right now. Yep, they are doing like no damage to them. <laughs> oh my god, this is insane. Oh my goodness. It's honestly, the, the main thing is the Nemesis Crown. The AoE damage it does is, is ridiculous, man. It's just doing... It's doing so much damage. And I have so much resistances because of all the relevant things that I have. Like, look, these guys, once they get in range, already from there, from here, they're getting Nemesis Crown 40 to 80. And obviously you can use magic and stuff on com in combination with it as well. But in fantasy, he doesn't need it. In fantasy, he really doesn't need it. Like, these guys getting rotten down. We're, we are assisting with artillery, but I don't think there's anything that can probably kill them. I think any lord that has the ability to fly will definitely be better with this, because you're going to want to make sure that you're as mobile as possible, because you're super tanky. Yeah, I'm tempted to try uh, Imric. It's obviously one of those things where it takes a long time to set up the video. Because, like, for this siege, for example, it's taking... Uh, it took me a very, very long time uh, to get into a position where I could actually do this, right? It took like 20-30 it took like 20, 30 turns of tryharding to get it to the point where it worked. Even need the help? Probably not. 
Law implications of the Sword of Cain in the Crown would be terrifying. It would be extremely terrifying. It's why in the video that I made today, I was like, you know, he's turned to madness. Cal Franz has turned to madness. And it's absolutely true. All right, what we'll do is we'll throw a little cheeky regrowth. And do that. And there. Boom. I read how much you don't like sieges. Well, they get, they're definitely getting better. A law friendly Azag set up like that. Hill you two, please. I did. Can you put the crown on generic lords? As far as I'm aware, no. It's not an item. Uh, I think, maybe actually, saying that, I would imagine... Sorry, I, I would imagine whoever attacks the battle and kills them would probably get the crown. You'd assume. Yeah, that's what I'd assume. But whether or not that is true or not. No idea. Yeah, my assumption would be that. So if I sacked this, would I have enough movement to then attack another settlement? Oh, I'm so close to getting close to these. Uh, oh my goodness. How much power reserves do we have? We have 205 power reserves. I don't think we'll have replenishment here. I would need uh, Teclas in the army. Actually, I would need um, Felix to give replenishment. Why a beast wizard? That's just because of what I started with. The beast wizard, wizard was what I started with, so in honor of the beast wizard, I've kept them. So it'll take two turns to get over to, to the other side of the donut, so we should be fine. Marathi's influence may start transitioning towards the donut at some point. Uh, we actually do... Wait, I actually have visibility on the tech tree. Can I click him over here? Wait, hold on. I have visibility the into the Hunt Marshal. Ah, oh, but he hates me. I would need an alliance with him. Oh, if I declared war on him, I could probably get visibility of him. Yeah, would it? I actually don't know. Probably not. All right. Wolf, uh, yeah, Wolfric's hanging around there. Right. This army's going to have to go deal with a lot of what Dreitra's doing. I'm assuming... Yeah, an army like that would be fine. Because you can see here that we've got 505 missile strength, 380 range. So those steam tanks will do a fantastic job. Uh, we could refl replenish the tools for that, actually. So if we do a... Oh, wow. The Lord finishes two turns of recruitment. Oh, my goodness. Wait, so if I did this, and then I recruited... Wait, if I put in, like, global units as well... Because technically that means I could finish globally as well. Put that in there. What else would we need? That's three turns. What else would round this composition like? Guys, if if I was to, if you were in my shoes, what would you round this composition out with? What would you recruit in this army to round it out? I guess that's going to be the cavalry elements. More steam tanks wouldn't be the worst idea in the world. Some war wagons? Should we test some war wagons? Yeah, go on then. Go on then. Another steam tank? When in doubt, more steam tanks. Just scream for the arrow. Yeah, that wouldn't be bad. It wouldn't be a terrible idea. We'll use the war wagons and see how that goes. For the exact same reason. Bosh. Nice. Now we just need to wait one more turn. Yo, Matty, good to see you, handsome. Indeed. Oh, warrior priest actually would go really hard. You're not wrong. Just I can't get them right now. I've not built the building from. Yeah, warrior priest actually would be really, really good. Champion of the faith. Yeah, I, I, Warrior Priest would be better, honestly. Sigma lightens my steps. Warrior Priest definitely would be hella useful. Uh, I don't know if I need this army over this side. Although we're probably going to make enough money with friends murdering stuff, so... I'm not too afraid there. I will mark all the we have a lot of stuff going on. Is it upkeep debuff, faction-wide? Let's have a look. Here. 
Uh, all units are in this army. So it's only this army. The debuffs are only specific to your army. Buffs and debuffs. Demigriff's still bad? No, I wouldn't say they're bad. Demigriff have always been recently decent. Uh, hey, Tony. Uh, access to the field. It's uh, content creators only. Okay, that sucks if Catherine's not going to like us. I'd love it like a command route where I can make someone like me. Like a commandment to basically be like, you like me now. But that probably is not going to exist. Oh, I should probably... Sorry about this, guys. I should have put my light on. <laughs> Didn't have my professional lighting to light my bald domium up. But I have the lights uh, to, to, to illuminate the dome. The chrome dome is now illuminated. Okay, he's taking Wreckers Point, that's fine. Wow, they actually joined me. They actually decided to join me here. Okay, let's go over here. Ah, uh, we'll have to do the cheese again. No, oh, I won't be able to. Well, I could speak to Marathi, maybe. Hold on, let's speak to Marathi. We might be able to clear through Marathi. Mar what? What is it? Such delights. Take it. Oh, someone asked for the witch hunter. I've just remembered as well. Somebody asked about a witch hunter earlier. Where's the witch hunter? Here he is. Uh, so you've got the strict obedience, the Templar. So big loss reduction against uh, against certain evil stuff. You've got the ambush success chance and stalk, shadowy servants for snipe, purifying flames, and the imperial celebrant. So main things is that one. Grim resolve is really nice, giving image psychology. Tools of judgment giving a enable of terror causing unit in range. Oh wow. Tools of Judgment gives 12 melee attack and defense if a unit with terror is nearby. <laughs> right. They announced the 20th. Uh, 30th, they did indeed. Also, most of the debuffs, if you just keep him. Yeah, no, definitely. It's one of those things where I'm probably going to... I'm going to want to transition uh, the crown away from oh, excuse me this army into another army but obviously i'm really far away wait hold on find the army heard that after you lose the seal of crown the first time it can appear anywhere in the world rather than within the empire is that true i haven't seen that myself but i'm not sure well, uh, Wolf Hearts special hunters get it. You sh uh, I would expect so, yeah. I'm um, being thicker on the front versus size. Yeah, it's quite nice. I like it. Yeah, probably it would have been a good idea to have that. Uh, you got to keep on fighting pretty much, yeah. you got to basically keep fighting constantly, otherwise you'll lose the crown. So I need to put this army into a different... I need to transition this army across to a different army. Because obviously it, it, I don't need another... I don't need more units. It's Franz is more than capable of killing everything. Bap. Oh. Oh my god, I've been caged. You can't cage the beast. The beast... Cannot be contained. Uh, it cannot be contained. That's just running into any of the inventory that I can see. And then it's just rot everything down here because the crown's range is insane. Keep a quarter battles within the army that has the crown. Yep. Every every three turns, I have to do one battle. And if you lose said battle, um, then the crown is gone. So you got to make sure to keep doing battles, but also win the battles. Because right now we have the crown fully stacked. And you can see, obviously, the damage is pretty damn bonkers. Like, this unit is already half HP, and I've not even been fighting them. Like, France has not even been attacking them. It's just the crown does so much damage. And that, the, the nice thing with the wizard is that they're a lot tankier now. Wizards are significantly tankier, which is a good thing. 
They're not as squishy as they once was because now we have 70 armor. Oh, interesting. It's, it knocks them back. So it is an explosion. OPM's right. Full cavalry empire run. Honestly, empire... I, I really like uh, cavalry runs. If these guys are close enough to the crown, they'll just die naturally as well. And they are, actually. Wow. That little bit of ticks of damage really didn't do them favors. If I do a quick cheeky one of those... It'd be nice to have all the cool steam tank stuff on this army. I honestly think there's probably nothing that can defeat Cal Franz or most factions that have access to the crown. Right. Should we do a little um, interesting challenge? Where I could spawn in an enemy army that is like four armies of dragons and see how well I could do. I have the capabilities of doing so. Oh, where the hell did you come from? Do it. Hmm. Because I am actually kind of intrigued how hard it would be. I don't think very hard, though. Yo, vaping. He spawned an army of level 50 Archeans. Yep. It would take me a long time, but I can. It would take me a long time, but I indeed can do that. Oh, Rika, come on, love. Kick her out. Kill the thing. Yeah, friends is just doing friends things over here. God, the damage is just so insane. Uh, what we'll do is we'll just one-shot this mage over here in a second. So let's go press all the buttons. 1,261 armor-piercing damage right now. She just got eaten. She just got absolutely eaten alive. Oh my goodness, she just disappeared. Where did she go? Oh my god, of course, yeah, I can do I can give him beast magic as well. I can give him his form too. So I can give him even more damage. Wait, hold on guys. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. What other schools of magic increases damage? It's fire, right? A fire mage would also give me more damage, right? What other mage? Shadow would give me more damage. Fire would give me more damage. What other schools of magic give me more damage? What's the other schools of magic, boys, that would give him more damage? Would time warp? Does time warp just give melee attack? Or does it give actual damage? Metal is true, yet yeah. Passive of metal. Okay. What I might do then is get a mage recruited in the army. Yeah, we've got Ulrika for shadows, which is nice. I need to stop doing it. Time up is only melee attack only. Okay. We need weapon strength. We need more oomph. Time up is only melee attack. Thought so. Right, let's have a look. Does Ulrika have... Yep. Yeah, mine razor. Boom. Yeah. Oh my god. This is going to be insane. Oh my god. This is going to be absolutely disgusting, guys. I hope you guys are well uh, are ready for quite possibly the most broken thing you've ever seen in your life. Oh man, I wish I had a mage I over. I wish I had a mage over here. Right, guys, do I have your permission? Simple right, this is this is for the boys, all right? This is for your boys. So this is for the boys, right? I'll only do it if you guys agree. Type one in the chat if I should summon a mage here and teleport them over to Franz's army just to see how much damage we can do. Type one in the chat if we should, two if we shouldn't. I don't normally cheat. We never we never cheat around this place. Literally never cheat on the stream. Uh, but this is just an interesting limit test. So if you guys are wanting to see that, I'll do it. If not, I won't. I won't do it if, if you guys don't want to see it. Alright, seems like you guys are pretty keen for it. Okay. 
Thank Thanks you for the feedback. Spot. We'll do it. Mm -hmm. Right. I'll disband him straight after. I just want to see it once. You need fire? I'll disband him straight you after. Them. All right. Let's teleport him over to Francis Armour then. Ready. Right, just, just this once, guys. Just this once. We'll do it. We need Metal Mage as well. It's going to really change the outcome of the campaign. Yeah, honestly true. Wait, so we would need a metal mage as well, wouldn't we? How good is metal magic? Is it like 12% additional damage? Is metal like 12% or something? Gold 12% it is. Alright, let's send him over as well. <laughs> it's anyway, yeah, it goes to everybody, right? Alright. Mm. We're gonna t we're gonna limit test here, boys. We're gonna limit test. The Empire. Summon the All right, so we'll chuck you both in there. We now have. I'm thinking, guys, how much weapon strength do you think we do you think we're gonna get to? How much weapon strength do you think we're gonna get? Two thousand, you think? I think it might be more. I think we might get like two point five k. I think one point eight k. Uh, up in the new logal dispatcher is I have it's insane. I think around 2.4k. Yeah, 2.4k seems about right. Because we got fire buff, so we got plus 50% from here. Oh wait, wait! I thought this was way more than this. Oh, it's only base weapon damage. That's not going to be that much. Okay, if it's only base, that's not going to be. Oh, it's this one. I'm an idiot. I am an idiot. We need we need this. We need this. I shouldn't have put all those points into there. Shouldn't have put all the points in here. We need this one as well. I don't think the overcast gives anything anything different, right? Right, we'll uh, we'll do one battle and then we'll use that afterwards. It should be fine. Oh my goodness. Bertie's army is ready to rock. This army is pretty insane, honestly. Hey, Slurring. Alright, so where is Dreiter? Let's go deal with Dreiter and help them all now. I have no idea how Belligar has managed to get this settlement, but hey hell. I live to serve the Emperor. Right, good news is we can buff most of them. Denied. Oh, that's a pretty good. S Damn it, we should probably have made sure we had at least Champion some protection on this side. I'm going to retreat and then we're going to go recruit in uh, Altdorf. And pull you over as well. Ah, shoot. I'm, I, was supposed to, I was supposed to click down that way. Bugger. Yes. We'll get both of those ready to, ready to rock. You can hold the line against anything Grom comes with. Felix is leveled up again, which is nice. Let's get Sweet Talker, which means we'll get better diplomacy situation. These guys need to be given us vision. As long as we get vision, that's all I'm happy with. Okay, the moot is going to be fine. I don't know why there's loads of Zinchian corruption. I think something to do with uh, uh, what um, what we call it. The changeling is doing. Damn it, Alara is on the way. Hey, Zabru. Uh, the crown is the new item that's in patch 5.0. It's a thing that you can obtain from the Empire that gives you uh, an incredible amount of bonuses and I'll show you uh, as we have Cal friends that has it currently with the Sword of Cain as well. We have the Sword of Cain as well. I'm not sure, OPM if you're still here, is there any easy way to spawn four armies just with one command? Yeah, we're gonna have to give up a lot of territory while uh, the Wolfric takes a little bit to the north here and we just need to consolidate our forces and, and fight them back. There's gonna be an awful lot of battles that will be upon us. Oh my god, I can't actually reach Altharion here. Raise your Screw weapons. it. Valiant defeat, you say? Will. So yeah, this is the crown. This is specifically the Nemesis crown. And you can see the bonuses we're obtaining, uh, as of right now, is 30% additional hit points, perfect vigor, and AoE damage of Nemesis crown, 25% more damage, and a Mortis engine that's 40 to 80 damage that does 55 meters. We also get movement range, Golden which is the big one. Let's do that. Expertise. Let's do that. 
So this is not as high as I can actually make it because we don't have the armor piercing 25% one. So ignore the values here. We still need a little bit major experience on the, on the mage. How'd you get it? You need to go into the... Um, if you go into the Empire and walk around the Empire's province... I made a video on my tubers, uh, Sibiru. Uh, you can see it gives a rough overview, but there's other videos that people have made that's gone more in depth with it. The spawn command four times. Add unit code 19. Yeah, that makes sense. So it's not too bad. So I'm not sure who would be best to give the army to. Do any of the light count units provide AoE buffs? The count guys give melee attack and leadership. Are there any that's weapon strength? Not that I'm aware of. They're not any. They're not incredible for it. A guide for it, or just a video. Uh, it does explain what you need to do. Uh, the video that I've made it kind of explains kind of a rough understanding of what you need to do. All right. So this is limit testing. Let me just go ahead and put my units over here. All you need to do is just. It's quite simple. You just need to run around the empire, and then find where. Um, it's positioned. So the crown will exist somewhere within the Empire. I need to go find where it is. Right, so let's see how high we can get his weapon strength. Let's see how high he can get his weapon strength. So did you guys say 2.4k? I honestly think we can probably get higher than that. But this is without the 25% additional damage from the Fire Wizard as well, unfortunately. Does the Overcast do any more damage? No, it just extends the duration. All right, let's see friends just sponge all these arrows. Not give it a damn because we've got so much resistances against the damage. Look, it's doing like one damage. That's just the armor piercing. That's the guaranteed base weapon damage. All right, so. Oh my goodness, I'm going to be quite quick with this. Um, so if you go with this bad boy. Dude, I'm going to be really fast. So cast that. Uh, cast that. Uh, cast this. Uh, I've done that one. And then cast over here. And then cast all these buttons. 2.1k. So that's without the additional armor piercing we can do. So 2.1k weapons run, folks. Yeah, that is actually kind of insane. That is kind of insane. And that's without another 25% on top of that. So that's not even our final spell. Yeah, I think they will get around 2.4k. God, these guys are shooting us like crazy. It just doesn't matter. The Scarborough one? Yeah, the Scarborough one's going to be cool. I mean, OPM, who do you think would be the best person to have it? I feel like the best person to use it probably will be like either Malice, Torox. Scar the problem with Scarborough is he's too big and he can't fly. I think units that can fly definitely have an advantage for sure. So many archers, yeah, it just doesn't matter. I'm just to I'm just too tanky, man. 25% missile resistance, 50% water, 5% physical resistance. So I'm basically capping out the damage to nothing. Ooh, yeah, no, good shout. The Cathay and Lords would be pretty good. They would go pretty hard with it, actually. You're not wrong. The Cathay and Lords would use them very, 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 very well. Malagor would be good, too. It just means friends can get in really good positions. Yeah, I think Imric might be the best. Oh, here he is. Here's the big man himself. Eltharin, the Grim, the big man. Let's make sure we're buffing uh, Franzi accordingly. Let's give him everything they need. Wait, why are we not moving up? Come on, guys, move up. Help out. There we go. Honestly, it doesn't matter what that casts. Oh my goodness. Yeah, there's not an awful lot um, Eltharian can do about this, honestly. Oosh! Yeah, not an awful lot Alpha Anchor have done that. Look at how much range they have. It just doesn't matter. I'm just so tanky. I have so much HP and I'm just so tanky. Perfect Vigor, super tanky. What can they do? Like, and look, this unit over here is dying to the crown. Oh my goodness. 
The AoE damage is honestly what makes it so insane. It's the AoE damage that makes this so unbelievably insane. Just the fact that I can just mortis engine stuff in a huge air of effect is what makes this incredible. What we'll do is, once these guys route up the hill, we'll ensure that we can cast the Sword of Cain. I wonder if we can cast the Vortex in the direction we want. I don't believe you've ever been able to. Or you haven't for a long time in Warhammer 2. In Warhammer 2 you could, but Warhammer 3 you can't. And I'm not allowed, thank you Krasa, I'm not allowed to share any of the DLC specific units. Uh, but one thing I do want to say is, the second I'm able to show them, boys, I, you know I will. And if you have any questions, any concerns, anything you want to know about said faction uh, units when the DLC uh, embargo drops, you know, don't hesitate to ask. I'm always happy to help. Always happy to discuss it, talk about it, whenever, when I'm able to do so. So, yeah, we still have a ton of my HP remaining. Um, he's got 11k damage dealt to gold value right now. You ever notice the AI doesn't dodge when they're firing bullet? Yeah, they don't. Uh, no, this is free LC. The gold the dunk is a good point. Uh, the gold wizards are free LC. I don't have access to any DLC specific units on because I've did it disabled the DLC. Yeah, it's part of the huge empire update they've been given. The, 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 yeah, it honestly is mental how big of the update, the free update for the empire has been. Huge, huge, huge update. I'm just thinking, like, my brain is just trying to think who, who would probably be the best person to use the new Sword of Cain and Crown. Well, new, use the new Crown. Because, look, these guys are already dying. Because it's just, it's too big of a dis. Like, it's so incredible how long range it is. It really is. I just feel like he's not taking damage. Like, is it just me? Skymar Torox? I don't think Torox is going to be the best. I really don't. Torox can't fly. Most units that can fly will always have an advantage. I just feel like, yeah, anything that can fly will always have an advantage. Maybe that's just me, though. Maybe that's just me. Yeah, Malagar could be pretty good. Sec with other mortis engine effects. Absolutely would, yep. Doubly, it would. So, it will always stack with the double uh, with other mortis engine effects because it, it has to be an individual unique buff and then they will stack. If it's an individual unique buff, it will stack. Alright. I think the Imric will take massive advantage of the additional HP it gives him. Yeah, Imric will, got, will get a lot of additional health. Like, 30% additional HP for Imric is a lot. Yo, Sebzi, how are we doing, buddy? Thank you so much for the raid. I appreciate you. Hope you had a wonderful blast stream. Hope you had a fantastic stream. Dragon's Doma 2. I actually haven't seen anything with that. How, have you, how are you enjoying the Dragon Doma? Welcome in the Crusade of Kindness. We're currently on a crusade with uh, Cal Franz murdering everybody. Uh, but welcome in. Belagar would be good. Any dwarf would be good with it. I think any Dowie would be really, really strong with it. Oh, he just doesn't take damage. Franz really just doesn't take damage. We'll get to 15k gold experience, uh, gold damage dealt. There you go, good enough. You play for 60 hours and you beat the big boss and you go, now the tutorial's over. Oh, really? Nice. You had a blast today? Oh, that's good to hear. Oh, that's good to hear. Why so many mages? Uh, to buff uh, Franz up. Because I wanted to see how high his weapon strength could go. That's pretty much the, the only reason. That's pretty much the only reason. I want to see how high my weapon strength can go. <clears throat> nope, he's still not 90% resistant. He's 10% away from ranged weapon. He's 10% away from having 90% for missiles. 
He's very close. Symbiotic still better than Parasitic? Parasitic, um, no. The parasitic, parasitic ones are better for spreading cults. The symbiotic ones are better for money. And thank you, Septi. Take care, buddy. Enjoy your foods. I think I am capped out specifically for uh, ward save. Like, my resistance is... I'm not sure how else I can get more. You do not right, thankfully, the crown's been reset again. Okay, Tyrion is now at war with us. What I wanted to do over here was give this. Do double this. Alright, what we'll do is we'll test out how high I can get his weapon strength. And then I can do a two-man stack with the Jade Wizard and Calfrans. Would you guys be interested in watching the two-man stack? Would you guys be interested to see how the two-man stack does? Do you know what? I'm going to move this army over here because Nolan is dealing with that. Nolan is doing that. Three-man stack with Ulrika. Ulrika is not really going to do too much, though. What slot does it use? It doesn't use a slot. Crown does not use a slot. It's just uh, it's just attached to the army. It doesn't use a slot. I just need to figure out what the best potion of strength is. Oh, I don't think I... Yeah, no. I think, uh, unfortunately, uh, the carry died before I got a chance to get over here. Which sucks. Honestly, this army can jog on. For now. I'm going to try and reduce my costs where possible. I'm assuming Drychill will be dealt with with Nuln and dealt with uh, by Beligar as well. Ooh. He's got a little thinger behind his head. Wait, I don't have that. He's got like a massive crown behind his head in the portrait. Whereas my dude doesn't have that. My guy's just bald and weird. His, his dude has a really cool crown behind him. Or a really cool cross behind him. Hide a loser, evidently. Evidently. Uh, yeah, Milborn Cordon's not needed anymore. Emil, thank you for all your services. We did confederate you, and we've not really used you, bud, but... Not really needing you right now, because Leon's done a fantastic job of protecting this. Leon has done a fantastic job of protecting it. Ooh, this will be a good fight. This will be a really good test of uh, how strong Franz is becoming. Triple Moon Dragon and Alarial on her Great Eagle. Yeah, that'll be nice to see. Prevents the Confederate? Yeah, it does. Because she's got loads of new units and stuff. Okay. Like, she's got all the new units, so I can't, can he really Confederate them? Even though I don't have the DLC. I think it's one thing that's pretty cool, and that I'm a big fan of, is that without the DLC, you can still use DLC units, it seems. They will be judged. Uh, like, you can Confederate into having the new units, if that makes sense. Instead of having the units yourself. I'm not sure if that's intentional, but we'll see. Ooh, this is unfortunate. We have taken this. We probably will lose the Shrine of Cain. What happens if the Shrine of Cain building gets taken? Do I lose the, sh the Shrine of... Uh, the, sh uh, the, the Sword of Cain? Probably not, right? You lose the sword... Wait, do you? Elf one's queen. You keep. I was gonna say. I was gonna. Uh, I didn't. Nothing happens. You don't. Okay, thank God. I was like, well, that's a stream over. <laughs> Pretty sure you don't need the shrine. Yeah, that was my thought as well. I think you. Need, I didn't think you needed the shrine. What I want Elarial to do is just stack up as many of them. And Sam, you need to be... Uh, content creators uh, have been given access to it. Uh, early access. I am yeah, it's all the elves that have the ability to build the right? Only the elves can build it. Yeah, we're going to lose a bit of our settlements in the north, but it's bound to happen. Right. 
Jesus, our movement is actually kind of bonkers, I'm not going to lie. Um, we'll do a drive-by murder on these guys. Little cheeky drive-by murder. Let's go murder these guys. They've run away, so it's fine. Uh, CA scrapped the content creator program, Victor. They've made a new one. They have made a new one. If you are a content creator yourself, you, uh, you can... Uh, it's the Exalted Champion program, uh, if you wanted to apply. I don't know what their criteria is, but if you are a creator that is making stuff for Total War, you can, you can check it out. Uh, I was just I was fortunate enough to be in the previous uh, partner program, so they brought me back in. Yeah, thankfully they recreated it. All right. So here we're doing the tester of how high. Right, guys, predict. So right now, what we have is we've got the Occam's Mine Razor to increase his damage. We're going to use the Wilson's Wild Form. We're going to use Cassading Fire Cloak and Flaming Sword of Ruin. And we're going to use the passive of Metal Shifting. What weapon strength do you think Kyle Franz is going to get to? We've got Deadly Onslaught for additional damage, alongside a Potion of Strength. So a, there is a lot of weapon strength available. 3k? I don't know. It seems that it doesn't stack up as much as you'd expect. It really doesn't stack up as much as you'd, you'd think. Right, so let's have a look here. So I wish I could pull, uh, like, slow down and slow the uh, the 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 game down. All right, so the smartest one to probably cast is this one, because that lasts for 32 seconds. Uh, you cast that one. Cast that one. Cast that one. Uh, cast this one. Cast this one. And cast that one. Oh, I need to do metal metal shifting. Oh, I think I missed it up. 2.2k. Jesus. Yeah, we got the metal caster in just. We got him just in time. It was 2.2 thousand damage. Which I'm sure you can imagine is pretty damn criminal. Wait, we have max resistance against the spirit leech. No, in fairness, uh, it is the amplifications of the percentage is of the original value, right? So when it's 50% additionally, it's 50% additionally of the numbers I think we see here, not the numbers that we eventually see it get to, which is a, which is kind of lame. So obviously the, the the numbers will be way less. I am taking basically zero damage. I don't quite know why. I don't know if the crown has changed my hitbox, but I am taking zero damage. Like, I'd at least expect me to take a little bit of damage, but I'm taking genuinely no damage. Like, I don't, I don't know what I'm doing. Like, I, I haven't taken damage at all. Look, I'm only just starting to take a little bit of damage. Like, I don't know why. It's crazy. What's the health? Ah, the shattered is fine. It is pretty damn tasty. Uh, what other mage you have? Dwellers will probably be the best. Now we'll cast it over here. Slow them down and then dwellers here. Law friends accurate gameplay. Yeah, honestly, I think it's kind of nuts the amount of damage we have. I'd be interested to to try and get somebody else. Get new VFXs. Dwellers has been buffed, I'm pretty sure. I'm almost certain Dwellers have been stealth buffed. Yeah, I'm pretty sure Dwellers has been stealth buffed. It, it seems like it's explosive damage. Because you can see number of projectiles, 30. And it's a bombardment now. Uh, OPM in the chat was talking about earlier. I think they have stealth buffed it. It's way better than it used to be. 
Yeah, I got buffed and a new look. It's really nice. God, it is so insane the damage we can do. Right, I think I'm going to have to spawn an army to make this at least close. Right, guys, what um, Right, guys, suggest what unit would have remotely a small chance of getting close to fighting us here? Who do you guys think would have the small chance of doing well against us here? As I don't think there's many. I don't think there's many people that have even remotely close chance of doing good against us here. Like, who should we fight, boys? What units? What units specifically should we fight against? Grill Reliques. Yeah, that'd be, that'd be tough. Bellicor? A full stack of Gorgons. That would be interesting, actually. Nice, they healed our army. They gave us some healing, and then obviously we got way more movement because of that. Right. No. Never. Okay. Even the law master. Excuse By the comet. Right. Elf one's queen. I would love to, maybe an entire army of like a couple of armies of dragons. Maybe that would do it. The nation calls. <laughs> Just the fact that I get perfect vigor is insane. I need another army. Oh, I should have attacked the uh, the, the army on the outside. Uh, rattling guns might pose some sort of danger. Do rattling guns have magical missiles? I'm trying to remember. Is it magical missiles they have? Is it magical missiles? Don't think so. Technically, you're allowed to fight DLC units. 19 Thunder Barges. True, but I, I don't want to dance with the dance with danger there. Because I, I was spawning them in, so it probably is... It's not... Yeah. I think it would be a little bit riskier. Right. Chuck these boys all the way back. So if we if we can all come to the to come to an agreement of what unit, what doomstack unit I should fight with Carl Franz, I'll do it. Alright. If we come to a decision between everybody in Twitch and YouTube, I will fight whatever we decide. I'll spawn them in and fight them by myself. We could do an, an entire army of dragons. Like I could spawn in four armies of dragons. Would you guys rather see four armies of dragons? I actually would be intrigued to see how well we'd do against an entire army. All right. Wait, how many would that be? It'd be 76 as dragons, right? Thunder badges? Yeah, like I said, I think I, I wouldn't be allowed to spawn them in. Let's come heal him. Ah, I think if you're out of range and you have no way of pathing towards them, I think it just bugs out a little bit. Ooh, the big chorf demons. What the, um... What, oh my god, it's what they're called. Kadai destroyers, right? Ooh, the ogre crushes. That actually would be pretty difficult. Not using the DLC units. I know, Victor, it's just... Like I said, the campaigns are a wee bit different, right? Campaigns are a wee bit different. You think one army can defeat uh, four Doomstacks? Oh, my intention is just to use Carl Franz and a, and a Hero Mage. My intention is to use just Carl Franz and a Life Mage. Uh, I wouldn't use any other units. 
And I want to. I, I, I would want to see if uh, if he, he would be able to win. That would be the the intention of the experiment. Four stocks, four stacks of warlock Giselles. All right, we can give that a go. I'll try the I'll try the dragon one. I'll try the dragon one. I'll need to quickly open up some codes and stuff. I don't want to ask OPM because I don't want to, I don't want to put him to work. So I'll I'll I'll, I'll open up the uh, the codes in a second. I'll do it right now. Just so I can figure out. Uh, because I can I can do this. I would need to spawn unit codes, and it would be faction codes, which would pro I'd probably do it for the high elves, because I can give um, Avalon them easily. Yeah, we can easily do it. Oh yeah, no, if you want to... OPM, if you want to spawn... Right, guys, decide. Do we want armies of giants? Or do we want armies... Yeah, an army of giants, army of dragons, sound good? And we need two other armies. I think the Medusas will be brutal, though. So yeah, we'll do one army of dragons. Doesn't really necessarily matter what the dragon is, whichever the strongest is. And we'll use it, we'll spawn it for Avalon. We'll spawn it for Avalon. Because then I can start... I can fight her easily. Five need ma five mages? No, it doesn't. We're good. We're just going to use friends and a, and a jade wizard. Gorgons. Yeah, that's a good idea. I don't know how that would happen. I don't know what would happen with the Gorgons. All right, so we'll need an army of Gorgons as well. And that makes... That's probably a good idea. And then Bloodthirsters? Dudes. Cal friends is only one man, though. He's only one man. Surely I'm going to need at least some units to defend me. I'm going to need at least something that's going to help me. Because with all single entities, I won't be able to heal... I won't be able to do damage with them with the Life Mage. Yeah, the Gorgons would scare me, though. The Gorgons would definitely st uh, scare me a lot. Bloodthirsters, Gorgons, Dragons, and Giants. Yeah, that does sound like a good combo. OPM, if you could sort that out for Avalon. Bloodthirsters, Gorgons, Dragons, and Giants. That's crazy. That is going to be absolutely bonkers. How that goes. Because right now, this is too easy. Friends is too much if you kick a Chad. A Dreadquake Mortars? Oh, he'd eat them alive. Dreadquake Mortars wouldn't be able to do anything against him. That's the problem Dreadquakes have, right? They're not good against single entities. He would eat them to eat them for breakfast. He would absolutely eat him for breakfast. This is gonna be an interesting single target shell. I actually am more I'm I'm generally curious more than anything of what's gonna happen here. Soul Gunners of Zinch. Yeah. Oh, Luminax would be interesting to see. Luminax would be actually pretty interesting to see. Man, it's actually kind of exciting, the possibilities now. The possibilities. Like, my army's not even that good. It's just France killing everything. I honestly, I'm not sure if it's just me, but I think they've bugged the, um, the hitbox with people using crown. I feel like I'm taking zero damage. I know I have a lot of ward save, but I feel like I'm taking way less damage than I should normally. Maybe that's just me, though. Maybe that's just me. They will obey. I am France. They will obey. Right, so let's recruit another lord here. So we get our boy. Ooh, did I respect this guy? I can't remember. Uh, points to spend nine. To Perfect. You can you can be it. So let's go into uh, Emperor's Finest because that's a lot of my units. Emperor's Prince Finest and, and then some ranged. And then Ram Archer. And then friends, you need to hand over that army, buddy. Moving off. Uh, hand over these guys, then I guess. I'll keep the Empire Captain just for uh, morale sake. What? Wait, I accidentally kept Orca. Yes. 
All right, Kyle the Giga Chat. I don't think I've. I, I don't think I can level them up any further. All right, Kyle the Giga Chat is getting ready to fight. Uh, we can do crossbowmen in there just to utilize the skill sets that I've got for them. That's fine. I need to figure out what's happening because everyone's going to start hating me, which sucks. But that's the crown's thing. This army is going to be dedicated to dealing with everything that Wolfric is trying to throw at me. Anything and everything that Wolfric is throwing at me will be dealt with this army because these are really strong armies, but they are nothing against this doomstack. My goodness, it's such a good army. Go this way if you can. I'd rather be. I'd rather them move inside of my own terrain. Interesting. He's giving us some cousin Discord. Okay. I'm pretty sure I should be able to attack. I'll, I'll need to. I, what I'll do? I'll spawn it next turn because I need to move those guys out of the way. I don't want them to get involved. I don't want them involved. Right. So, four armies of dragons. We're doing individual. We're doing gorgons. Bloodthirsters, giants, and we're doing dragons with Imric. I have both items. I do indeed. That's what we're testing right now. And the problem that we're fighting, the problem that we've got right now, is they are too OP. Franz is too overpowered right now, so we're going to have to try and make it harder for ourselves. And I'll show you guys exactly what we're going to do. Yeah, this was expected. We have an army ready for this as well, though. Yeah, we're going to lose all the settlements over there. That's fine. Safe guy, we don't need money. Right. So, you're in over there. Okay, so. Let's add in... Am I pasting it wrong? Isn't it the other way around? I think it's the other way around. you got to spawn the general and then spawn where it goes, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah. Futile Let's throw in the dragons. And then let's spawn in Brimgore, and then we're going to put it for Avalon again. I'm going to give them all the XP they need as well. Why is it not enough root? Why is this not working? Ah, there you go. Oh, I'm not spawning on a settlement, I'm an idiot, that's why. Right. Oh my god, that's Grimgore, but it's not Grimgore at the same time. <laughs> Summon the elector counts. It's not Grimgore, but it is Grimgore. Alright, let's see how Franz will deal with this. I command here. Why is there not enough is it is there not enough movement? Oh there's a space there, that's why. Wait, why can't it let's is there not enough room for them to spawn or something? Oh, is that a double space? Yeah, it's a double space, I think. Yeah. Yeah, there you go. Torox. Gorgons. Alright, Torox got a bunch of Gorgons. Now we're spawning Scarbrand here. So. That's Scarbrand. And let's put in the Bloodthirsters. Okay. A laughable idea. Crap, are they all in range? The Empire. Absolutely. I can't not. attack them. No, no. Why can't I attack them? <laughs> Hold on. So this is what we're testing. That we're limit testing the crown. We're limit testing the sword of Cain right now. Let me just teleport friends over here because I think he's stuck. We'll do it again. Yes, to unite the provinces. I think they're all involved. No, all of them but one are involved. 
How can I attack them and all be together at once? I think this is the best I've got. Oh my god, you did the regiment around as well. Uh, this is the best I've got. I don't really need the garrison. Honestly, the garrison's probably not going to help me at all. Alright. Alright, let's see how good this, the crown really is. Yo, Crazy Dutch, my, uh, my scrub master friend. Alright, let's see how bad this is. Let's see how bad this is going to be. So, Cal Friends is really strong right now, but I do not know if he's quite, if he's going to handle this. These are dedicated to anti-large, but he's got some really good stat lines. He does have some really, really good stats. Alright. Gonna have to hide those guys. Oh, channel magic, really doesn't matter. Gamba Gamba paid off. Wait, have they fixed it? Wait, I think they've paid. I think they've fixed that. All right. So about a bazillion uh, bloodthirsters here. Good luck, Cal friends. Good luck, my friend. God, the music's pretty damn epic for this. Stop running away from me, you cowards! Oh my goodness. All right, let's see how we can do this, boys. Oh my god, friends. Oh, he's getting a bit beaten up, though. Uh-oh. He's getting surrounded! No, friends! Go on, beat your way out of it! Oosh! There's almost one down. Oh my goodness, I'm getting battered. Oosh! Right, one down. Let's pull back. We gotta, we gotta try and attack them one by one. <laughs> right, they've gotta be separated one by one. This is too brutal otherwise. I suppose it's going to hinder our healing. Oh my god, they're hitting me from miles away! This is impossible. <laughs> oh god, this is impossible. I have no way to help him. There's too many of them. Alright, bring the uh, cow friends over. Mortis engine is not working in the air. Oh my god, he's got. they've got... These, these bloodthirsters are so much better. Maybe the RRRs are too strong. Maybe the Regents of Nanage is too strong. Let's turn around and see what we can do. Let's get the Empire Captain in there, like, screw it. So let's see if the AoE is... No, the Crown is working. The Crown is working. He's just taking so much goddamn damage. I think this doesn't do anything because they have magical attacks, right? Yeah. The Empire Captain is actually kind of fine at the moment. Ooh, I can see friends' health bar already. That's not good. Can I cast this on them? Oh my god, it actually works. Wait, can I crown them as well? Holy crap, that's so many things. I don't know if I can keep friends alive. The crown is really good. I think, I think it's a little bit too much to ask. Uh, to kill these amount of things. I think from an inventory point of view, he'll probably do really well, though. Oh my god, look at him. Look at him go! Dude, the Empire Knight is, like, tanking when... Oh, uh oh Scarbrand, please leave him alone. Oh my god, he's taking, so he's taking way too much damage. I can't keep him alive. He's taking too much damage. Ooh, that's actually a really good point. Yeah, I should have landed Franz. You're right. Yeah, landing friends probably would have helped there. All right, we limit tested pretty hard there. <laughs> it's overpowered, but it ain't that overpowered. There's there is way too many things here. Oh my goodness. Yeah, air units definitely take way too much damage. All right, we're gonna have to reload that. So yeah, I mean, we definitely limit tested folks, but um, probably limit tested a bit too hard. Maybe a little bit too much limit testing there, lads. Definitely a little bit too much. Hey, sometimes you got to limit test though. Yeah, what I should have done, if I was smarter with that, if I landed him, I'm pretty sure he'd have been fine. If I landed Franz, um, 
I think he'd have had a much easier time. Because, yeah, I, I definitely feel like you just take so much more damage when you're in the air. Like, he, I was getting battered in the air. I was getting absolutely battered. And, uh, yeah, Lord Watcher, I, I, I only ever play Legendary, yep. And, Neal, yeah, I think the, the Mortis engine was working. I think it was working. Might have better animations. Yeah, it felt like those Bloodthirsters were slapping friends. But I think they were just surrounded again. Like, it, sometimes it looked like they were hitting him from miles away as well. Like, they were getting cheeky hits in from a really far away. So, I, I don't know how they were doing that. Or what they were doing to do that. I'm not sure. Right. Mm -mm. Right, guys. Who should we give a crack to? I'm thinking about I'm thinking about we test something else. What do you guys think? What else should we test? I'm in the mood to test something else. And uh Lich King, we basically just spawned loads of armies in to try and test it. Uh yeah, it was what they call a bit of a limit test. Summon the elector counts. I will marshal the band. But I suppose. Who would be good? Who would who do you think has some of the great changes? Invisible infantry. In fairness, it is insane. It would be really, really good against infantry. Like, infantry it would have no chance against him. Hey, Giren. I think infantry would have no chance. Do you know, it would be interesting if I could play Karak Kadrin again. Like, my Ungrim campaign was went, went really hard. The Ungrim campaign went really hard. I think we uh, might jump over to that actually. To the provinces. Let's see. Returning stack, yeah, returning stack would be pretty interesting. I mean, it's one of those, it's one of those things, right? Well, on paper, the crown plus sword of cane is like insane, but it's just too good. Like in a traditional campaign setting, there's nothing that could contest you. Like, there's generally nothing that would be anywhere remotely strong enough to deal with you. Which is, I mean, it just goes to show. You know, I think, uh, one thing I'd be interested to see is Malice using this. Torox, Malice, and all of that would be really interesting to see. Right, what we'll do. Alright guys, do me a favor, type 1 in the chat if you'd like to see some Dowie. Should we get some Dowie action in there? We could play a new dwarf, actually. Uh, is it a crown uh, thingy? Uh, yes, you, you can basically do... Um, it's for everybody. Right, what dwarf should we play, guys? Ooh, Thoric could be interesting. Ooh, the white dwarf. We actually haven't played the white dwarf in a while. No shame, your ancestors, Dowie brother. Want some Grom Brindle? Should we do a bit of Grommy? Bring me to my men. Should we do some Grom Brindle? Do we do Grom Brindle? Or do we do... Beligar or Thoric? <laughs> you guys thinking Thoric? It would be interesting to see how good Thoric is with the new changes. Okay. Okay. Right, how do I, um... I don't know how I, uh, on, on the tubers, how I can then go to another stream. Do I have to create a new stream on YouTube? I... We'll have to think about this. Imagine you got to schedule a stream. Let's just jump in the campaign. Legendary very hard as always. As it's definitely a lot harder in, uh, on uh, YouTube then. Because mm -mm. you got to make thumbnails and everything. Right, we're transitioning over to Thoric, guys. Do apologize about the inconvenience here and the transitioning over to another campaign. 
Uh, do I have any Thoric related thumbnail stuff? I can quickly make one. Shouldn't take me too long, boys. Do apologize about this. I won't be long. But how's everyone doing? How's everyone's weekend been, guys? How have all you wholesome hunks weekends been? Hope everyone's having a great weekend so far. But yeah, we're going to be testing out Thoric. I think with the new changes, Thoric probably gets a lot of good stuff. I really do think that Thoric probably gets a lot of really, really good stuff as part of the uh, the changes here. So I'm curious to see how much of that uh, translates over. God, making the fastest thumbnail known to man on the fly right now. So I'm getting better with these. Dun, 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 dun. Yeah, apologies for the inconvenience. Let me go over to here. I am actually very curious. No shaming Grantesh's here. I mean, your boy loves his dwarves. I mean, that's just the fundamental. You know your boy loves his dwarves. It's good enough to me. Holy moly. Bash that out in no time. And I think what I need to do is when I end this stream, and thank you for the follow, I appreciate you, man. Not as strong as before since Corollas get less tech boost. That's a really good point, actually. That is a really interesting perspective, because what we'll do is we'll check it out. We'll check out exactly what that is. Um, yeah, really, really good point, actually. Okay. Right, guys. I'm going to BRB on the tubers. We're going to go to the Thoric stuff. Bibby. Right. 